think that public murals are uh, a great device, if you will, for uh, telling stories. We are constantly uh, in this process of narrating our lives and putting them together. Murals play a very important role in transferring cultural information and heritage from generation to generation. The fact that we have our younger generation actually completing and executing the murals has added to this uh, bonding of the generations in the community. I think visual arts and murals in particular, it's almost like a throwback to a time when people didn't read and write and churches would have these narrative tales in sculpture, in murals that explain the world around them in a visual way. And so I feel like we're a continuity, a, a continuation of that tradition of allowing stories to be told uh, that might not have come out otherwise. Our mural program depicts one very, very specific moment in time in our community, and thus it could go on forever because we're still making new history. The process of these murals uh, is really part of the mural. So the first part is really just to talk to residents representatives, um, volunteers, and say, tell us who you are. Who, who are you as a town? What, what, how do you think about yourself? When we, start, um, when we start working on a piece, it's usually um, a general idea, and then it sort of just evolves and grows um, sort of the same way that uh, I suppose we do. Um, the process for making a mural, it's really long and complicated. You don't just go up to the wall and start painting. Uh, it begins with research and first actually you have to figure out where you're going to put the mural. You have to measure the size of the canvas that you're painting on. Um, next you do research for our particular murals. We have to go into the um, history of the town and we sort of pick a theme that we want to use. I like to think of it initially as kind of a word cloud, that we take notes through this whole process and we start finding what things come up repeatedly, what keeps coming forward, what sort of rises to the top. Uh, from there we go to um, old museums in the town, talk to locals, we gather information, pictures of the specific theme that we're doing. We work with our heritage museums our historical societies here in the Slate Belt community. And we, the, the young student artists, are equal to everyone else in giving their opinions about what might make a good picture. I think that educationally, for the kids, the most enlightening thing is to actually be a part of or involved directly with the history. So our kids got to interview World War II veterans. Um, they got to ask Morris Metz, where did he sleep at night during the war? And uh, the historians from our local museums were able to give them information I don't think that they would have gotten otherwise, and maybe spark something in them about not just visual things, but about historic things, about events, and about people, these personal stories, very personal stories that came out. And I can't imagine that they weren't affected by that. It's, it was kind of our responsibility also to, to, uh, to show the, the story of these people in the mural as, as, they took, as uh, their part in this community and how they had taken part in World War II and and they're, they're, they're part in our community, basically. There's just sort of countless, countless stories behind each person and each face, and um, it, that's uh, one of the 
biggest things with our murals is everyone, everyone we paint is a person. They have a face, they have a family, they have a story, they have a life. And I think that's what helps give so much sort of, um, sort of a soul to the mural itself is we don't just put paint on the wall. These are real people and they, they had real lives and they made a difference and they were important and they lived and loved and were sort of, they sort of existed. The, the, the most important thing for me is education in this, um, that children have an experience from start to finish on a long-term project. So they're involved right from the beginning. every day there would be someone who would stop in or someone who who just noticed the mural for the first time or someone honked their horn because they saw the mural and they just wanted to say how great it was um, but almost every day someone would come in and tell us uh, uh, tell us that they knew someone in the mural or they were in the mural in some cases we had a few instances where uh, while we were painting, people would come up to us and they would tell us about people, relatives they knew that um, were in World War II, which was the era around our mural. And we would uh, paint them in sort of almost last minute. People on a daily basis not only came to see the spectacle of having murals executed in painting, painted, and, and of course to see children do it, uh, uh, work on something so large and developed, but they started bringing, and they bring their own stories to it. And it's an interactive process, a sort of back and forth between the artists, students, and the community. And I think that's really critical, and I think that's the important part of the. The day of the dedication uh, for the mural, we had a huge outturn as always. Um, we had to shut down the street again. Um, people sort of just packed in and filed in from all walks of life, living around the place, children and veterans and um, older folks and new generations. And Now this is our fourth mural and we have two more planned they're starting to relate to each other and become the sort of serialness of them, the, the quality of having additional murals and additional stories. They, they start to take on a bigger scope of uh, importance and people look forward to them. It did sort of show me that um, there are people that have been here for a long time. They have ancestry that roots back to here and some things that I didn't know about the town for instance the train that ran through Penardrill I didn't know of that. What I liked the most about working in the mill was um, um, painting it. 
it was kind of hard and complicated, but at the end, it paid off. When I would come to Pernardo, I wouldn't know what exactly, how everything was planned, why everything was planned the way it is in the city. But when you look through history, it shows why everything is the way it is, and that there were people involved in every step of making Pernardo what it is today. The impact is that it draws attention to our community. It has people looking at it in a different way. Sometimes to move forward, you need to have people who have been here for a very long time see their own community in a new light. Long term, I think that the murals are gonna to continue to engage people uh, as they reflect back on the experiences of participating in them. We've already had some young kids who participated in earlier murals come back as older children and talk about them. Uh, but I think that they start to see some connection to the town and wanting to be a part of the future of the town, of being part of what happens next. It's a reoccurring feeling after having completed every mural. Just a, an overwhelming sense of pride because this pro these projects mean so much to people than I ever thought was possible in the first place. Um, I've seen people just cry over them and I, I'd never understood it at first. I, I was like, what are you doing? We put paint on a wall. It's, it's, not that, it's not that big, it's not that grand, it's not that important. And I think as um, these murals just went on, I've started to realize, you know, it is important. It's important to some people. It's life-changing and it's an honor. And just to see someone they loved or someone they knew or even themselves just to be honored in such a way is really important to people. Like what we do is important to people and that just amazes me. And I can't say that they're the only ones who this mural or these projects matter to because I think it's also affected me in a huge way just as a person.